Hey guys, I am back with another plan with me in my Erin Condren Horizontal. Um, this week I'm going to be planning for the 22nd to the 28th of January 2018. Um, and a little story about this big write-in is that when I first got this planner, I wrote in every single important holiday or important event or date in the actual weekly spreads before I discovered sticker kits. So um, I'm not sure if I want to wipe that out or what I want to do that day, but we'll figure it out as we go along. So today I am using a horizontal mini kit from Cricut Paper Co. I will link them in the description so you can find their shop. These, they use these awesome vinyl stickers. They're super smooth, but you can tell they're going to be easy to write on as well. Um, and it's this really cute wintry uh, design and art. And I've never used a mini kit before, so it should be interesting. Um, I've had to pull in this little tiny washi tape that I have to use for the headers because this mini kit does not have washi for the headers. I'm honestly, I, I don't think that Cricut Paper Co. makes full kits for horizontal. I think they just make full kits for Happy Planner and um, Erin Condren Vertical. So that's probably why I purchased the mini kit. I think I have a few more mini kits from them. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't really plan out like what stickers I'm going to use for what because I, again, have never used a mini kit before. So we will see how it goes. Um, and yeah, I picked kind of a bad week for a mini kit because I actually have more plans than usual this week. So <laughs> yeah, um, we'll, we'll figure it out. So uh, it also does not have top or bottom or it doesn't have top washi at all and I didn't think about that I wonder if I have any washi that would go maybe I could just do like my black sparkly or maybe this kind of sort of goes um, or I could do my white with silver foil polka dots um, I think I might do this one, the polka dots, because that's the one that matches the most. Otherwise, my other washi that came with, like, the super tiny washi is mostly purple, and this kit has mostly, like, blue and pink. So, let me stick with the white. And we will get this moving. Um, I have not opened this before and I'm not sure how to get it open. My X-Acto knife should probably work. Or excuse me, it's not an X-Acto knife. It's a Fiskars knife. Okay. I hope you guys have been enjoying my plan with me so far. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the amount of, of views that they're getting. Uh, for me being so new. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you coming by and watching me ramble on about my crazy life. All right, so let's see. Here's the end. It's a little bent up. I like that they did that so I can easily grab onto it. And this is kind of like slightly see-through washi. So I think I may go ahead and white out some of this. I want to see how far up it goes first. Maybe I'll put like two strips of it on. So yeah, that's definitely going to need white it out and um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to require lots of white out. All right. All right, so hopefully that works. And quick apology because I kind of forgot to uh, charge my selfie ring light again. So it's gonna be dark over here until I remember to do it <laughs> or figure out some other type of studio lighting that will work better. 
But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out this washi. Um, and hopefully it works out well, since there is no washi with the kit. This is gonna force me to get really creative and uh, in, in, uh, improvise a little bit. I think I might end up liking it though because it's not going to be like my other weeks. It's going to be totally different. Okay, and now I need... I just ordered craft scissors, you guys. So this whole using my Fisker's knife or super chunky scissors for everything days are going to soon be over. <laughs> Finally. Um... Took me long enough, right? I asked a couple people where they got theirs and they didn't get back to me and they probably didn't because, I mean, they get bazillions of comments all the time, so I understand. Um, and it's not that hard to look up a freaking pair of scissors, right? Oh my gosh, I'm, again, I'm really, really, really good at cutting crooked, but it will be okay. <laughs> I'll just match it up on this side. Sorry this is upside down, you guys. This is going to be interesting view. <laughs> I've never used actual washi tape before today, so another new experience that you guys get to be here with me for. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you couldn't see that down there. Ooh, and I've got little bits of white out all over me now. Okay, straight, Molly, straight. Cut it straight. Cut it straight. And don't press too hard. Nope, still not straight, but it is pretty darn close. So, that is good with me. Maybe I'll, I'll do some other sort of washi at the top. Maybe I'll do, like... Some of the pattern washi that it came with since I think those will actually fit up the top there. Okay, so that's good with that washi. Yay, I'm glad that I got to use it. I am glad. Okay, and now I'm going to do the washi um, headers. Just moved my board a little bit there. Sorry about that. Uh, with this purple washi. Um, this purple washi came with a tube that I got at Michael's and then this is from Target and I had no idea that Target had washi tape until I went and like scrutinized their office supplies section last week. <laughs> they were they had like a 10% off cartwheel for um, all school supplies and office supplies so I was like yep I'm hitting it up. <laughs> Can't resist. A good cartwheel especially when my husband also works there so we get an extra discount too could not say no it was impossible my husband's like really we're in this aisle again how many office supplies do you need <laughs> men they just don't understand am i right besides the awesome guys who are here with us in planner community they get it they totally get it. Okay, cutting that off. Didn't cut through it. <laughs> there we go. That's actually really cute. Let me flatten that out a little bit. Okay. Because it's like two layers of polka dots, you guys. I love it. And this purple is almost a perfect match to the purple in this kit. So... I am, I'm happy about this. And the washi that I'm doing for these headers are, is actually a little bit wider than the headers themselves, but it's not a big deal. I'm just going to cover up the top washi there just a smidge. And I am going to shut up and fast forward through the rest of this, so I'm not taking up half your lives.
Okay, so we are done with that washi, and I actually am kind of in love with it. Like, a lot. <laughs> so we shall see how it looks with the rest of the kit. I have high hopes, so we'll see. Um, next I am going to do my full boxes and I adjusted my light a little bit so hopefully it's not as dark. I angled it more towards my desk. Um, I thought about brightening it up more but I don't want anything to get washed out so okay. Um, there are eight boxes so they're a perfect amount and hmm, okay there's four floral, three animal, and one star. Um, I think I might start off with the polar bear because polar bears are my favorite animal ever. Ever, 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 ever. Ooh, I've not used a Cricut Paper Co. sticker kit yet. Oh, those are cool. They're like really flimsy and pliable. Oh man, this is going to be an experience, you guys. <laughs> All right, this is going to be interesting. Hmm, not as easy to put down so far. But they're like thinner too, so it's not gonna bulk up my page as much as other like standard matte wood. Um, and then I'm going to do some pink floral. This is interesting. So out of all my planners so far, I've decided that I do like this one the best for functionality. So far, I mean, it's only been what, like three weeks? That I've been using it but so far I really do like it uh, let me do the stars next the plum paper planner that I bought seems to be just a little too big for me personally I should have ordered like the regular size instead of the large size because or maybe I should have just ordered the the me instead of the or the mae instead of the me which is what I have and I am not okay this one is not quite as big it's not filling the whole box up so I'm gonna try to make it just cover the the I can't get this right you guys Gonna make it cover the dotted line. Sorry, I didn't finish that thought. I really can't make this right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's like kind of funky, but it might be just my placement of washi. It probably is, but whatever. Um, and yeah, so I don't have like, I should have thought of this before I ordered my plum paper, but I don't have like seven different categories in my life that I need to plan. So, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to keep this mostly in view for you guys. I should probably like mark off where is in camera and where is out of camera. Um, let's see, what do I want to do next? Maybe some... Mm, this one but yeah I should have thought about that before I ordered it because like I said I don't have like seven different categories of my life to plan there's only so much I do and I don't need a whole box for seven different things so I'm kind of trying to make it work for me uh, because you know I'm, I'm stuck with it not that that's a bad thing because I still do like it for some things. Uh, and then I want to do... 
I suppose hmm. I'm gonna do this pink floral. Um, but I am excited to get my Erin Condren vertical next year, or maybe I will get it in July when they release the new one. I haven't decided yet. I guess it, de it depends on how much I really end up liking my horizontal, but so far it's been the most functional for me. I look at it the most often um, when comparing this and my plum paper planner. Um, I feel like I get a little bit overwhelmed with my plum paper planner because there's just so many different sections that I'm not really sure where I'm looking. Um, and I think that might actually be what I enjoy about the horizontal because I don't have to like go scrolling up and down the page to see what I'm doing during the day. I just look at one solid section going across and there's only like a short space that my plans are written in. And I suppose as I get busier and add like more kids to my life um, and more activities like we plan on homeschooling my son and whatever other kids come into the picture. So that'll add more to my life. So maybe at that point, a, like a plum paper planner would be a better fit for me. Uh, cause I'll have not only like business related things and chores and, um, like events that I need to do, but I'll also have like homeschooling lessons that I'll need to plan out. Uh, so maybe around that time would be a good time for plum paper. But while my life is fairly simple, <laughs> fairly simple, that's hilarious cause I get so busy during the day sometimes that I'm like, where the crap did my day go? Um, but yeah, it will, I'm sure, get even busier as time goes on. I'm liking the pliableness of these. They're really cool. Oh, which reminds me, I ordered, I finally got around to ordering some sticker paper for myself. I still haven't ordered my silhouette cameo but um I have ordered some sticker paper a couple different kinds um I'm trying to figure out where this one girl gets her premium matte vinyl from because it's my favorite paper ever uh I don't know if like she's away from her shop right now but she hasn't answered my message either that or she wants to keep it a secret and she's like yeah I'm not answering that which is totally fine I understand completely um, but I really, really, really want to find her paper because it's my favorite and I really want to sell that once I start making stickers. Um, but I went looking for a couple different kinds and I ordered what I thought would be most similar to it. And I got it in the mail today and I felt it and it's not quite the same, but to start out with, I think it'll be okay. And I will continue on my hunt for that paper because I freaking love it. It's like butter. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I have a couple different sites that I'm looking at. And um, we'll see what I can come up with. Alright, so now I need to go day by day. There's not going to be a whole lot in my notes section because this is a mini kit. Um, maybe I'll just put a heck of a ton of deco. Or maybe I should grab my functional stickers from Little Dog Paper Co. I should have thought about that first, but I will grab those right now and decide what I want to do with them in a little bit. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and do day by day events. So, so yeah, let me let me go from right to left so everything fits the way I want it to. So the first event on Monday is my live cardigan demo, and then I'm filming my Happy Planner Rewind. I need two half boxes and I want to do, I think I want to do um, the dark one and maybe the gray. Yeah. Okay. The 
these are so interesting to work with. They're definitely not as easy to place because they're so pliable. And I feel like that is extremely crooked. I guess I'll find out. Um, and then I wanted to do the gray one. Doing this left-handed is not easy either. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely like majorly crooked, so I'm gonna have to I'll fix it. Okay, this is kind of really hard. <laughs> like really hard, okay. Uh, maybe it's not, I mean, it's not that bad, actually, but I'm gonna redo it anyway. It's like they're magnetic to the page, so it's kind of hard for me to put it down the way I'm used to putting stickers down. Alright, that's pretty good. So now I will, of course, I don't know what I was talking about making it fit because I don't have boxes. So don't listen to me. <laughs> All right. And I want to make sure that I'm going to line it up so that I'm not covering up Wednesday, the Y and Wednesday, because I want to be able to see it since there's no date covers. Tuesday. Um, coffee with Embry at 11 and I have a call with my business coach at 5 so I'm going to do the cute little penguin um, and then maybe maybe I'll do a scallop label for Wendy my business coach I don't know. Not worrying about it just yet. This is so weird. Like weird as in trying to get used to it. It's going to take some practice. Because I love the material. It's just hard to get down exactly the way I want it to and I've said that a million times by now sorry guys um, and then I want to do this one I really liked how my layout worked out last week with these half boxes for my events kind of making it like slightly no white space ish except for where I was putting the deco on the left side so I think I'll keep doing it for a little while and see how I like it. Okay, so now I want to do a pink one. A pink um, flag checklist. So now I need to try to line it up with the top. Hopefully I get it right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, Wednesday, I finally have something to do on Wednesday. I have flute choir on Wednesday. So let me count up how many. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Shoot. I'll do flute choir as a scallop label then. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do scallop label. Yeah, let me do a scallop label. Um, and I'm gonna do the pink one. And flute choir is at night, so I'm gonna put that down the bottom here. I don't know if any of you have heard of Shippensburg University, but that is the flute choir and orchestra that I play with 
every semester. That's really crooked. Holy crap. Um, that is the local university to me. And uh, I went to college for like a year and a semester. So like three semesters for music performance. And then I dropped out because I decided I wanted to get married more than I wanted a career. So I like went all 50s or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so like when I got married and moved out here, I wanted to still have music in my life. So I looked for local orchestras or like wind ensembles, things like that. And I was lucky enough to find that the local university actually had an orchestra that accepted community members. So I've been playing with them ever since we moved here. And it's been really great to just keep up with music as much as I possibly can. So that's it for Wednesday. And I wanted to do the dark label. I'm trying to match the full boxes here. Yeah, so the washi doesn't like perfectly match the the purple in the kit, but it doesn't really bug me that much. So, and oh, so this semester, um, we have a really famous young, like flute prodigy coming to play with the orchestra, um, and she's also going to do like a master class with our flute choir and she's doing another concert, a solo concert, um, as well as the orchestra concert. So I get to, to see her numerous times this semester and I am just like fangirling hardcore because I've been watching her since she was like eight years old. Um, and her name is Emma Resmini, and you can find her all over all, all over YouTube. She's got tons and tons of videos. She is phenomenal. Like, she is insanely good, and she's almost half... She's, like, eight years younger than me, and she's, like, a bazillion miles ahead of, <laughs> of me. And I'm, I am, like, uh, low-key jealous of her. <laughs> okay, so I need to shut up. Thursday, I have two events away in live sale. And, okay, so I worked out that I'll have enough labels. Um, let's see, I want to do this one for OA in the morning. Of course, I said I was going to do the bottom one first from now on, didn't I? Ha, ha, ha. Look at me not doing it. <laughs> okay, and then I want to do this one. Yeah. Uh, so that's for my live sale. I'm doing a live sale Wednesday night. I'm trying to like switch up my live sale schedule because I want to find what works best. Like what day and time works best overall. So far I haven't found it. <laughs> but that's why I'm trying out some different things. Oh shoot, that's not blue, that's purple. Poop. So I kind of forgot like all day that I was actually going to film this tonight because I've been so busy trying to like cook some meals ahead and clean up the house a little bit because my family is coming tomorrow morning to spend the weekend. So I've been like running around all day trying to do stuff and um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so for Periscope, I'm going to use a flag like I used last week. And I haven't, I've like planned to go live on Periscope for the past three weeks. And I have yet to actually do it. Um, it's on the list, but I always find like things that I need to do instead. And I'm not trying to like avoid it, but it's hard to actually find the time to go on it. But I need to actually do it instead of just planning to do it. I need to actually do it. <laughs> So I'm going to use a flag, and then the plan with me, I want to use this one. So while planning in my Erin Condren horizontal, I am planning to plan again. <laughs> I just find that funny. I don't know why. Okay, so Periscope's going to be a flag. 
These are so stinking cute, you guys. I love the floral in this kit. I'm like fangirling all over it again, even though this is actually the kit that I used in the first week of my Happy Planner that you guys didn't get to see because my Rewind video would not import from my phone. It just like refused. So um, I get to use this kit again. It's um, the kit that I used before was from Jump To It Designs, but it was the same artwork. So this is like my second time using this artwork and I really just love it. Uh, and then Saturday is Plum Plan With Me. And I usually put that over here and I don't know why. Why did I put that over here? Because of the weekend banner, that's right. So, okay, I wanna go ahead and put the weekend banner in first before I put in that. Good thing I remembered and thought about that before putting that down. <laughs> okay, and this can go right up against it since it's a straight banner. Kinda like that. I think I will actually white this out because I want to like make it stickery and cute and I'm going to take out this sticker that came with the Erin Condren. Like the stickers in the back. They match like the month colors but I'm not focusing on the month colors so I don't need those stickers at all. Maybe I will give those away sometime and I need a drink of water. I'm like super thirsty. Okay, now I can put in my plan with me and I, again, will put it in over here like I have been doing so that I have room for a work checklist. Oh shoot, I didn't put my Friday checklist in. <laughs> okay, Friday checklist is going to be pink, 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 yes, pink. try to make it the same length as the other week, but that's hard because these aren't boxes, they're just flags. I'll get over the flag thing sometimes, you guys, someday. I really do like the boxes. That's gonna run right into Saturday, isn't it? It's crooked, that's why. Oh, geez, I'm like, why are there stickers on the back side of this? That's the notes page for February. <laughs> A uh, duh, <laughs> which I've already filled out. I'll show that to you guys when I plan my February monthly. F planning a monthly should be interesting too. I've not done, I've not like filmed myself doing, why is that not working for me? There we go, much better, stay. And then the last checklist is going to be a blue one. I'm kind of bummed I don't get to use my other purple one. Purple's my fave. You guys probably know that by now because I never shut up about it. <laughs> okay, now I need to make sure that doesn't... I should have done this one first. Yeah, because it doesn't line up with Fridays now, so let me move Friday. Okay, there we go. So that's weekly events, weekly checklist for work. Um, let me do... Um, a little bit of my sidebar. So there's two weekly habit trackers that I didn't notice before. I was, I was saying in the beginning that I wasn't going to have much to put in my side or my bottom bar because I kind, kind of missed the habit trackers in there. They blend in so well with the blue and the whole kit, so I just didn't see them. Okay, so having them in the top left corner has worked so far. It worked last week, or I guess this week because it still is Friday. 
Or actually, no, it's technically Saturday morning because it's past midnight. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm not sure what else to put in my sidebar. Or, I keep calling it a sidebar. It's not a sidebar, it's a bottom bar. There really isn't anything else to go in there. Um, which is why I said I was going to pull out those. So I'll look through those. Um, let's see, anything else? I don't have any bills due. I'll use that at the end of the week if something doesn't happen. Another flag? Do I need another flag? I don't think I need another flag. I kind of wish I needed another flag because it's really freaking cute. Um, although maybe mini kits are more the way to go for me because I feel like I'll use all of it instead of having a ton left over. Uh, oh, I should probably figure out what I want to do for the wedding anniversary. So let me grab my correction tape again. All right, so there we go. I'll prob, let's see, I don't have any half boxes left, so maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do like both of the scallop labels cause they're really cute. And um, write it like our sixth anniversary, kind of like that. Does that sound good you guys? I feel like that's probably the best way to go about it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I will leave this space over here for deco or maybe like some kind of church label. And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put this kind of like randomly Kind of randomly, not super randomly. <laughs> Maybe that's what I can use that flag for, because I really do like the flag. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Put the cute little flag next to it. And that'll be for our wedding anniversary. I'm so excited. We're gonna have the first date night since last year. Our last date night was actually last year on our anniversary, which is kind of sad, but having a kid makes it a little difficult to have um, a regular date night. So I'm excited. Not that I'm blaming him because it's not his fault. Um, we just don't have many people like near us, so not many babysitting opportunities. And plus, he loves me too much. He gets like separation anxiety if I leave him for too long because he's always with me at home. So it's understandable. Okay, so I think that's all. Oh wait, payday is Thursday. So let me put that in here. My husband's payday. Again, not mine. I get paid whenever Shopify tells me it's time to get paid. Um, maybe I'll use the no spend sticker somewhere. I don't know. Let me look through my functional real quick. From Little Dog Paper Co. I will link them in the description. I ordered all these functional stickers from them, like today's chore. I haven't used any of them yet. I haven't used like any of this yet. And then I ordered some Starbucks Frappuccino. Well, I guess it's not technically Starbucks, but it looks like Starbucks, right? I haven't used any of them. I've ordered like all the coffee stickers from like every single shop. And they have these hydrate stickers. So maybe I'll use one of these down here um, in my bottom bar. So which one matches? I kind of like this one. It's not like super matchy. It kind of like goes with the purple a little bit. Um, maybe I'll do that one. I wonder if there's like a lighter pink one. There probably isn't because I asked them to use like mostly specific colors because I'm all into the blues and the purples. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll use um, that one. And then they, I got some flag checklists. I don't know why I bought flag checklists, but I think this is like one of the first orders I placed from stickers or four stickers. So I didn't really know what I was buying. 
<laughs> so I just have a ton of these little things um, more little things maybe I can use that over here too today more today and to do so maybe I will use a little things in the pink I'll use a pink little things what I'm gonna do okay so I'm gonna put the hydrate in first I did say I was gonna use this right yeah the, the bluey-ish kind of periwinkle purpley oh yeah those are like heavy duty I like that I like that very much um, okay so I'm gonna put that or maybe I should do no, I don't have any washi I mean I do have washi but I'm gonna use it up top So there's that. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to use permanent marker on that. Those are super glossy, but I love it. I'm usually more of a matte kind of girl, but this is like insanely awesome. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little things, Heather, Heather, Heather over here. And then maybe, uh, maybe I can use my last, where'd I put it? Over here. My last checklist. Yes, I will do that. Yay, so I get to use my last checklist. That's exciting. Okay, so let me put that in. Okay. <laughs> Back to the vinyl. I have to get used to it again. For a second, anyway. Sorry, that was kind of dark and you couldn't see what I was doing. Um, and then my little things header... Oh dear, let me move that over. <laughs> well, it's kind of funky, but I dig it. That'll work. Okay, so thank you, Little Dog Paper Co. Um, I'm finally using the functional stuff I, I ordered from you guys, like, at least a month ago. I'm excited for that. Okay, so I'm going to put those back really quick. You guys can start my washi collection for a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of small compared to most people I know. <laughs> like minuscule um anyway okay so I think I'm done or uh, hold on one second I need to put the washi on the top there so let me do that really quick let me see which kind I want to use I want to use the floral on this side the pink floral oh it's two little tiny strips crap they were headers Oh, you guys, I am doing a serious face palm right now. <laughs> I should have looked at that. Oh, good grief. Okay, well, they're going up top. <laughs> Lord, help me. Oh, okay, that's what I will use the next time I'm using a paper Cricut Co. <laughs> Cricut Paper Co. Gosh, can't even say it right. Uh, mini kit. Yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, there we go with that washi. Duly noted that that is actually the header washi for next time I use one of their kits. I feel like an idiot for <laughs> not looking closely enough before. And now I'm going to go into my character and icon sort of things. 
and then I'll do deco. Uh, okay, so first I want to do a Monday, so I don't do anything for going live. Um, but I do do something for filming my rewind, so I'm going to take out my little Coffee Monsters Co. emojis. Um, and I don't really, uh, I can use the pink one. Yeah, I don't have any medium pink ones, so I'm going to use a little mini one. Cute little mini one for filming my rewind. I am so in love with these emojis, it is not even funny. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go and do uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, let's see, Friday, I will use the little flowery one, even though it doesn't really match. It's okay. I'm fine with it not completely matching 100% of the time. And then I'm going to use another of the little pink ones on Saturday for filming. And then I usually plan to film an Amelia James video on Sunday nights, but since this coming week is my anniversary, I'm not going to work that day at all whatsoever, even after we go to bed or after my husband goes to bed, goes to bed, or maybe we'll go to bed together that night, who knows, <laughs> to be determined. Um, okay, so that's it for the YouTube ones, the YouTube icons, I'll put those up there. Um, and then I will do the Instagram emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. on Wednesday because that's when I schedule Instagram. Um, and I'm going to do the medium pink one. Adorable. Okay. And then I'm going to do uh, the little coffee emojis from the Coffee, coffee Monsters Co. I'm going to figure which one out I want to use. Um, but I'm going to use one for Coffee with Embry on Tuesday morning. I'm going to do the big one holding the hot coffee mm, cup for Coffee with Embry. That is so cute. Okay, so that's it for those. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do one of their little musical ones. I couldn't find any stickers that had like flutes or violins or anything like that to signify my um, my flute choir and orchestra rehearsal. So I, I found these with the Coffee Monsters Co. And I love the emoji so much that I was like, what the heck, I will use them. <laughs> and I'll probably use the one with the treble clefts or the... Um, probably any of them except for the ones with the microphones. I'll figure out what I can do with the microphone ones. Maybe I'll do that like if I join a singing group or if I join my church's praise team, I'll probably use those for that. Um, so this week I'm gonna do a little mini one with the treble clefts for Wednesday's rehearsal. Love it. Okay, so yes, we're good there. And then Tuesday, I want to use, again, one of my Planner Kate and Dorky Doodles coffee uh, collab stickers. And I'm going to do, I like big mugs and I cannot lie. Seriously, all my coffee mugs are ginormous. Have you seen these mugs? They're ginormous. I can't help but make that elf joke every single time because it's just hilarious okay so there's that I'm done with all of those and then I want to use I'm not sure what I want to use it for but I want to use this little pink bow from a freebie that I got from lovely plannery I'm not really sure what I wanted to use it for but I love it and it matched the pink in this kit so well um maybe What's Thursday? Live sale. Periscope. Um, let me do it for my live sale on Thursday night. That'll work just fine. So cute. So thank you, lovely plannery. Adorable stickers. And then for deco, since um, the Cricut Paper Co. mini kit doesn't have deco, 
I decided I was gonna pull out this little freebie sampler that I got from Sticker Guru, Sticker Guru Co. That's a mouthful. Because <laughs> um, they're wintry themed and they mostly match. Um, I might not use the wreath because that's kind of more Christmassy feeling. So, but the rest of them I think I will use. So I'm gonna fast forward through that real quick. Okay, so all of that little freebie is gone except for their little logo. Uh, logo doesn't really match or I probably would have used it because it's a cute little floral wreath. But thank you so much Sticker Guru Co. I love, love, love those deco stickers like so much. Even though they're like kind of Christmassy because there's like, that kind of looks like a present but it's a bag and that's kind of Christmassy but I don't even care. Like I used the wreath anyway because I had an open space and it's cute so... I kind of really love it. It looks a little disjointed because it doesn't match perfectly, but I kind of really like it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this because it's got a good code on it. It might not work because it is a holiday code, but I'm going to keep it anyway just in case. Um, and then I am going to stop recording and put in my pen and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all finished putting my pen in, and it's pretty apparent that I kind of like jam pack Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday through Saturday are kind of more laid back for me. <laughs> I basically had today off, today's Friday that I'm recording on, um, because I finished all the work that I wanted to do this week, and I just kind of like prepared for my parents coming this weekend, so yeah, this was really fun. I kind of enjoyed using this mini kit and like making it my own. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because I kind of like having a full kit and knowing exactly what I'm going to use for things, but this forced me to be creative and I kind of dig it. So yeah, um, my pens. For writing on paper, I just use a black Sharpie pen. I use the same pens pretty much every week. I haven't ventured into colored pens yet even though I have them. And then for writing on the vinyl stickers, I used my Sakura Microperm 0.05. Um, it was my first time writing on this type of vinyl, and at first it seemed like it was going to smear, but I gave it a few seconds before I touched it, and it's like perfectly fine. So yeah. I really do like this, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, leave me a thumbs up or a comment about maybe a suggestion you have, shop suggestion, or if you have questions about anything, let me know. Um, I will list my Instagram in the comments so you can see the finished spread as the week goes on. And I hope you guys will hit the subscribe button and come back and watch my next video, and I'll see you then, okay? Bye!